Since the global launch of Brawl Stars or five years ago, the game's logo has changed a total of 14 times. And in this video, I'm going to rank every one of them based on its coolness and creativity. Subscribe and let's get into it. The default icon is so iconic. Its classic yellow and black color palette never gets old. I think I'm pretty clear when I'm putting this. The game was already out for nearly a year before its logo first changed and it happened during Brawloween of 2019. This one is quite a subtle change from the original logo. I like the purple color change and the addition of the fangs on the skull. Really gives Halloween vibes. Overall, it's a solid logo. Brawl Days came around two months later and with it the logo changed again. The theme of the update was centered around the nautical lifestyle, so interestingly the logo didn't resemble anything about Christmas or holidays but about, well, pirates. This new logo was even more basic than the previous one, the only thing different was the eye patch on the skull's eyes. I find it quite commendable how they managed to change the whole vibe of the logo just by adding that one eye patch while keeping everything else the same as the original, even the color palette is the same. Even though the logo was barely touched, I really admire their creativity here. So it deserves a decent rating. If you're a long-time player, you really can't forget the iconic Star Park update of 2020 when Colette was added. The Brawl talk went crazy with the investor video which opened up a whole new world of lore in the game. Anyway, with the release of the new update, we also got a new game logo in September of 2020. This time the logo change was also subtle but very significant. For the first time the expression of the skull was changed going from angry to a happy face. It was meant to represent the Star Park logo which has the same emblem. Don't get me wrong, I think the logo is very creative. But strangely, something about that face just creeps me out. It was only another month or so before the logo was changed again, and this time for Brawloween of 2020. Unlike last year, this time they went for the traditional Halloween theme of ghosts. They kept the same original yellow color scheme but the skull was changed to resemble a ghost in the middle. Again, a really creative change and I actually really like this one. For whatever reason, the Brawl Stars team actually decided to leave the game logo untouched throughout the entirety of 2021 and 2022, which interestingly was also possibly the worst period in Brawl Stars history. The game was on a steady decline. However, things started to turn around at the start of 2023 after the devs changed their approach to updates with fresh new content coming out regularly. And this is when they started changing up the game logo every season beginning with the Season 16 Candyland update at the very end of 2022. Now, this new logo is quite interesting with the subtle addition of the pink stripes on the edges of the logo making it look like a lollipop. And for a theme that's centered around candies, it fits perfectly. It may not be my favorite color combination, but I can't deny that it's a very creative change. Season 17 arrived a few months later with the seasonal theme centered around detectives and criminals. This is the first time I'm actually disappointed with a new logo. I don't know. All they did was remove the yellow from the original logo and change it to gray making the whole design look quite bland and boring. There's no pop to it at all. I really feel the creative team missed out on a good opportunity here to change the logo to fit the mystery theme better. There were so many possibilities. Even adding a simple hand and a magnifying glass in front of the skull would have looked cooler in my opinion. So I just have to put this one in the F tire. June 2023 came around and with it we got a brand new season called Rumble in the Jungle with the release of a new brawler Maisie. The new game logo did a good job portraying the theme of the new season. I like that they finally decided to forego the iconic pattern design and replace it with leaves from the forest. Also, the green glow of the skull looks sick. Overall, there's no comparison between the last logo and this one. In fact, this may be one of my favorite logos they've ever done. Clear as tire for me. The new season Enchanted Woods season was released two months later along with a brand new brawler Cordelius. And of course with it we got a brand new game logo as we have been accustomed to by now. And just like the last update, this one is another absolute banger. I don't know exactly how to describe a logo, but I absolutely love it. The purple orb surrounding a purple white glow of the skull in the center feels mystical and magical which perfectly fits the theme of the season. I know exactly where I'm putting this. 
Interestingly, even though the next season's theme was centered around the new brawler Pearl and her whole farm environment, the season's logo wasn't actually based on that. Instead, it was designed around the new huge feature which was released, Hyper Chachas. Talking about the logo, as always we have the iconic Brawl Stars skull in the center with these purple electric bolts radiating from it. It also perfectly matches the hypercharge button in the game. Even though the logo looks cool, some small improvements could have made it look bolder and add a little more pop. But overall, it's still a super cool logo and deserves a high rating. The theme of October's Halloween update was centered around a creepy, often strange circus in Star Park. And what do you see most often in circuses? That's right, clowns, and that explains the new logo. This time, we have reverted to the stripe design of the classic Brawl Stars logos and they transformed this skull in the middle into a clown. I think the color scheme is cool and the whole design fits the circus theme perfectly. However, since my rankings are subjective, I'll have to give it a lower rating because honestly I find clowns a little annoying and also I'm not a huge fan of the goofy look of the new icon. You may think it's a little low, but in my opinion this one deserves a B. So, we start off the new year 2024 with a brand new season called Star Tune Studios, which if it wasn't apparent enough already, is based on Looney Tunes and other similar cartoons. This update also brought with it a significant change to the Brawl Pass system changing its duration from two months to only one month long. This season's logo was perfectly representative of the new cartoon theme. The skull in the center remains the same but his eyebrows are upturned, changing the expression from serious to surprised just like how it is in the cartoons. Love the Looney Tunes reference with the red curtains in the background. Overall, I quite like this one. The March update brought about a huge change to the competitive aspect of Brawl Stars, replacing the old Power League system with Ranked. And just like the Hypercharge update, the new logo wasn't actually based on the season's theme called Sands of Time, but it was designed to resemble the new ranked mode. The skull in the middle looks much more menacing with its new hooded eyes, and the background is the iconic half red and half blue representing the two opposing sides in competitive play. I think it's a simple yet cool design that will appeal to almost anyone. Finally, we have the current Brawl Stars logo which is centered around the new Godzilla collaboration. It's pretty clear that the logo is designed based on the new monster eggs. The skull face is now green in color and the hooded eyes are the same as before. They added black dino scales on top of its head and cracks around the emblem to represent a dinosaur egg about to crack. Honestly, that's pretty sick. I also think that keeping the original yellow accents of the logo on the outside is a nice touch. Overall, this is a top tier logo in terms of coolness and creativity. So there you have it. This is my ranking of every Brawl Stars logo since global launch. Do you agree with my ear list? Leave your thoughts in the comments. I know this video was a long one, so if you made it this far, I really appreciate it. Subscribe for more content and I'll see you in the next one.